For fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 22 coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. Use code MMG for 10% off. No! Do I even need to get you amped up? If you didn't click on this video amped up, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why you're here. Nobody here right now should be confused. This is the NFC Championship in one of the most crucial Wheel of Mud seasons of my life. Roughly four weeks ago, we got booted out of the playoffs. We got crushed by a Jets fan and that sting of defeat hurt. It hurt bad. But I realized something. I realized if we had a near flawless season, picked up a few rage quits along the way, we could somehow, some way, finesse ourselves into the Super Bowl on the day of the Super Bowl. And there is one game that lies before us and the Super Bowl, and that is this, the NFC Championship. Will I be poverty like Jimmy Garoppolo poverty and choke? Or will I clutch up like Joe Shiesty and Frat Stafford or Stat Padford, however you want to look at it, and get this fat W for the boys, send us to the Super Bowl, and prove once and for all why none of my girlfriends should have ever left me. <laughs> This is Will of Mud, baby, the NFC champ. A beautiful offensive line. A Debo Samuel, who is one touchdown away from a fully max 98 overall power up player. Ah! He is a stud now, though, so I feel super confident throwing it to him. DK Metcalf, my prestige wide receiver at one point in time. Incredible. He's made so many plays for us. Um, It's kind of a Hail Mary to assume he'll get another card. I highly doubt he will, but hey, you never know. EA has done weirder things. AP! Also, I realized I could have gotten Bo Jackson with that Auburn college wheel, but here's what I did, guys, okay? I just typed in current NFL players from Auburn. I didn't think of all the players that have went to Auburn. It was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. But. We're gonna get two wheel spins here today. I want Max Williams the hell out of here. I want another. I mean, technically, I want both a backup tight end and a fullback, but if I have to choose, I want a fullback. I'll let Max Williams play backup tight end. But, dude, this is who people scum kick to. When people scum kick, it always goes your fullback. I do not trust Max Williams with that ball. I want, like, Zonka or anybody else. Y'all really. already know we got Super Bowl Devin White, the prestige paid off. I knew he'd be getting a Super Bowl card. Uh, I apologize. Obviously, the schedule is really difficult here. Like, this is the most Wheel of Mutts I posted in a long time. We are back to back to back. Assuming I win today, we'll have another one tomorrow on the day of the Super Bowl, right? So, obviously, I had to record a little bit in advance, and Devin White wasn't on the other ones, but he's here now. So, we've got Devin White, got Darren Waller. We're all caught up, unless some other astronomical thing has happened in this 24-hour time span. I love our defense now. I think Ryan Kerrigan's a little bit out of place, but even then, he's, he's totally fine. He's an 88 overall left end. He's a little funky at D-tackle too, but we also have a focus kicker now, so I'm a very happy man. All right, baby, we're spinning! Fullback, I can't believe it. Right before we're headed to the NFC Championship, I'm here trying to grab a fullback, but let's do it! It's a, mm, it's a blitz jackpot? I, I, that is really good. I love, I love getting jackpots, baby. We've been fucking ripping jackpots recently. Is there a fullback in that promo? I will say at the top of my head, the limited for that is Kyle Pitts, 95 overall Kyle Pitts. That's an amazing backup tight end. Okay, so there is a fullback. There's an 89 overall Kare, Kari Blasengame. No. There's no way that's how you say his name. White people. Either way, there's a legitimate 89 overall fullback. I, did I do this so often? I love how I just went on this big spiel about if I had to choose between a tight end and a fullback, I'm choosing the fullback, but this is a little different because I'm not just choosing between the two. I'm choosing between a 95 tight end and an 89 fullback. I am going to go with Blitz Kyle Pitts here. And this is kind of funny too, because if you guys remember about maybe seven or eight episodes ago, I had an opportunity to get Kyle Pitts back before Darren Waller was prestige to his team of the year. And everybody was like, bro, you have to get Kyle Pitts. He's better than Darren Waller, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? Not only am I getting him anyway, but Darren Waller is still better. So I ended up accidentally making a good call. 93 speed, 93. Oh my God, he's a beast. He's a 91 at fullback and I trust him getting scum kicked to over a lot of people. The only thing is if I'm in like eye formation running the ball, I can't see him being very good. Let me see the block. You know what? Actually, way better than I expected. 82 run block, 82 impact block. That ain't bad at all. All right, boys, Kyle Pitts. I actually technically killed two birds with one stone. I did a little better than I thought there. So I could end up doing a D-tackle here if I want to. The overall wheel. This is basically gonna make the decision for me. Depending on how dog shit this is, 
Oh, it could have been better, but you know what? That's actually not that bad. That is, is that right down the middle? That is, that is four on either side. This is the absolute most average spin I could have gotten on the Ogre Girls wheel. So that ain't bad at all. 91 overall. Do I get any player in the game who's a 91? I think I'm going with Fletcher Cox. I could really go for some Cox right now, right. actually. Yeah. Only 64. Th wow, that's crazy to me. 91 overall D tackle. Fletcher Cox. Not the best thing in the world, but hey, he will do better than Ryan Kerrigan down there, I think. Oh my God. Are we really ready for this game already? Oh my God. <laughs> Boys, the team is assembled before the NFC Championship. Here's what we're looking at. Sean T, Ramsey, Isaiah Simmons, Revis, Chase Young, Hassan Reddick, Warren Sapp, Fletcher Cox, Metcalf, Shaq Thompson, Devin White, a true hero of Wheel of Mutt, Devin White, Ray Ray Lewis, Darren Waller, another hero, Kyle Pitts, Max Williams, Jay Jettas, Tim T. Goats, ADAP, DK Metcalf times two, Debo, Deion Dawkins, Jonah Jackson, Jason Kelsey, Wyatt Teller, and don't you forget get Evan Clutch McPherson. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're ready for this game. As ready as we will ever be. There's nothing more stressful than clicking on seasons, going over to playoffs, and seeing one more win. The conference championship. The final thing I must do is the challenge wheel, which will give us a team of the year player if we clutch up. And the last one gave us Justin Jefferson, which was a huge addition to this team. So let's see the challenge here. 100 yards with a backup. You know what? There's never been a greater time to have Kyle Pitts on this team. Kyle Pitts is the backup to Darren Waller. And I'm ready for this game, boys. But yeah, Kyle Pitts, I can realistically see him getting 100. I'm not going to force anything. But if he's open, I'll absolutely feed him the rock. Josh Allen, PJ Williams, and then Zell Ward. I've got Darren Waller, Tim Tigo, and Jalen Ramsey in the NFC chip. We're in fourth field. And please tell me I have logo markers on the field this time. I didn't have them last game because Pizza Hut's bitch ass stadium. And you guys are always on my ass about calling it the NFC championship when it's really just the conference championship. But guess what, baby? NFC championship logos on the field means this is my NFC championship. Play action cover three beater. Yes, it is. He wants to throw it to the left side. <gasps> I really thought he might have thrown an INT on the first play of the game. I'm getting on Josh Allen. I hope he does it again. Yes. Same thing. That's a sack. Come on, baby. Run it again. Play action once again. Oh, it's all on the left side. Laser beam. Play action again. And I'm on his head. It's going to be a lot of those from Isaiah Simmons today. Let's see if he stays in it. Oh, I don't get him with Isaiah Simmons that time. He checks it down, but he's out of bounds. We're in his face so fast. Can't make these throws. I can't believe he's staying in it. I kind of expect this one to be, he's going to pull out of it, right? No, he does it again. And we're on his head again. He's out of field goal range. Fourth and 26. No way. He just threw that off his back foot. He's out of bounds. Let's go. But it's safe. That was a fucking insane throw. I blitzed DK Metcalf as well. That's why he was so open. Because I blitzed Metcalf, but we were on him so fast, he couldn't make the throw. Let's get AP started early, yeah? All right, left side. He just actually looks open. Oh, maybe not. A man mid-blitz. See if he stays in it. He does. Y is wide open underneath. Not only that, but he rubbed AP. Spectacular downfield blocks. And AP cracks one. We're down to the 20. Offensive player is distorted for the away team. We've got momentum early. Let's see if this is there. Peak zone bubble. It's wide open. Toss that block. And Adrian Peterson. Let's go for another time in the playoffs. Is going to score on RPO peak zone bubble. Oh my God. What a spectacular start. Ball at half. We've got to stop. We've got to score. It's going to be a hell of a battle though because I will say the play he's running is so good. Those like deep crossers are so hard to stop in any defense. Oh, no play action that time. He's not fucking around. <laughs> Concerns me a little bit. I don't know what this is. Double slants. Double slants. This is double slants. Check down. Check down. <laughs> Loki had no idea what he thought he was throwing there, but it wasn't open. I'm not blitzing much at anybody. This is probably a bad call. Uh, deep corner is there, I think. Oh my god, it's not. There's nothing. Oh. Little, little playmaker is there. He's handling the... He's handling the pass pro really well. They're not open. They're not shit open. Let's go. He's running these play actions and completely audibling out of the play action part, which is hilarious to me. Good! 
We'll take those. Having Hassan Reddick and Chase Young has completely opened my eyes to how good that shit is. I've gone most of the season without a good edge rusher. Because at the start of the season, edge rushing was not very good. But all of a sudden, it's spectacular. Oh, he can still throw this? No, sir! No, sir! Where the fuck are you going? Let's go! Good thing he clipped his toenails. Because look at how close Ramsey was to not getting that. First and 10. Most likely mid blitz, right? Debo. <gasps> Debo! No fucking way I just did that! No way! Debo's finally back in full form! Damn, I was real worried. All right, we don't even have to take the penalty. That's a beauty. He has no D-line abilities. Let's pound the fucking rock, yeah? Yes! Yes! Damn, I got rocked. I forgot I have jukebox, not bulldozer. I could have gone for a touchdown there if I go jukebox. I'm about to run it again, dude. Run game looks mean right now. Look at that. That is, oh, come on. Come on! Spectacular downfield blocking. Let's go. This is what it's like when I have a good team. Also, by the way, this is the playoffs. I have no morals in the playoffs. I will chew clock and abuse this shit right here. All right, I want you to pinch up the middle so that this is there. That is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God, look how open he is. Look at how open he is. I say we take the touchdown. There's a small part of me that, yes, I could run out of bounds and try and get the Debo Samuel touchdown or keep chewing that clock. I do too much of that in the regular season. I end up screwing it up. What's crucial in this game is as many points on the board as I can. And you know what? If we're blowing this dude out in the fourth quarter, I'll go for a Debo touchdown. I'll go for Kyle Pitts 100. But right now, I'm playing football and I'm not thinking about anything else. There's a six-man rush. I'm sending the boys on him. I've got Allworth. Dude, he was about to unleash that shit. Dude, I don't know why he keeps doing that. This guy is low-key delusional. Yeah. Just stop running at play action, bro. Run the same play, but block your running back. I'm actually a little mad at you, bro. You're in the NFC Championship. Fucking play me. He wants the one over the top of this one, but it's not going to be there. Is it? No. There's just no way he could have thrown that. Fucking Jalen Ramsey's going to clamp that shit if it was open. All right, he's going same shit other side. I'm actually going to go guard it. I'll go guard it. I'll go guard the high one because he can't throw the low one. Ooh. Ooh! Bashawn Taylor! God, this shit is over! Let's fucking go! Come on! March my ass to the NFC Championship just to play your poverty ass! Woo! Matt W! You already know what that means, baby! We're Super Bowl bound! Can you believe that too? We are 10 and 3. There is a point in time we were 5 and 3. One loss out of the next two games would have set my ass packing. But guess what? We get a rage quit followed by another rage quit. Sends us to the playoffs. A 25 to 7 resounding victory. A semi close divisional. Got a little sketchier than I liked. And a dominant NFC championship. All that leaves is the big fucking game, baby. I want the juiciest, fattest Tom Brady ass ring right on this finger. And there's one game standing between me and that game. Not only that, but I get a Rage Coat Wheel Spin. Can you believe that? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Rage Coat Wheel Spinner right now. I have no clue what we could get from this that would actually be useful to this team. Because this team is cracked. I just don't know. How good does it get? You know what? They might have updated this, actually. You know, the Rage Quit Wheel is just not engineered for the playoffs, though. Like, you're not supposed to be getting Rage Quits in the playoffs. Somebody else had to grind their ass through the playoffs, too. So it's just weird to get it. They do update this periodically, so it could be better than I'm thinking. It's actual dog water, but whatever. I'm surprised. They usually update this all the way up to, like, a 94, 95. I'll make sure after this season that I update the Rage Quit Wheel to fit with what we've got going here, but we couldn't really, what could we really expect, bro? We, we're your crack. I actually could get a 90 overall fullback. Ooh. Marshall Lattimore. It don't fucking matter. Goodbye. Now that I know I got a rage quit, though, I am bummed out that I didn't go for a Debo touchdown. I mean, hindsight's 2020, right? Because he could have, you know, marched down the field and scored. But if I go out of bounds with AP on the one, get the Debo touchdown, I have a fully maxed Debo for the Super Bowl. Now, this is a bummer. There is no chance that I can get Debo Samuel. He's 98 for the Super Bowl. Unless, of course, I got a pack a punch as a wheel spin or 97 jackpot. I, there's really no way that it could happen. So that is a bummer. But we did get Debo. Debo. So we played 13 games and Debo started here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We had 12 touchdowns in 13 games, Debo Samuel. So I will reevaluate how we do the power up player in the next season. Next season of Wheel of Mutt is the last season for Madden 22. So I'll reevaluate the power up. I'll make sure you guys are clued in on that too. It could be my prestige. Oh my God, that, that just clicked in my brain. I need a prestige. I made it to the Super Bowl, which means no matter what happens, I am prestigious.
prestiging a player. Debo would be sick. Then I could get his team of the year, 98 overall. Very good. Adrian Peterson will most likely get a boss legend. And that's probably a good prestige too. He played amazing in the playoffs so far. This is unorthodox, but offensive line would actually be really smart. In reality, the best prestige is either Chase Young or Hassan Reddick. I already have so many defensive prestiges though. I think it's gonna have to be offensive. We'll have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for joining me on such an incredible journey. I'm so honored that half a million people really tune in to watch this completely made up series. If you ever see me out in real life, I want you so badly to come up and say what's good. Don't ever be nervous that I'm not gonna wanna do that because I love you guys so much. Let's get this fucking shamani. Super Bowl is up next. Let's go.